Hey guys, we are over at the Zotac Boo. Boo is here. He's going to talk us through some of these graphics cards here. We've got some 1080 Ti's and some 1080's. You'll notice, first of all, that the colour scheme has completely changed from what we expect from Zotac in the past, you know, that yellow type of theme. So my question, first of all, is why is the uh, change here in the scheme? Of course, one of the things we wanted to do was allow the end user to be able to install our cards and not have it affect their color scheme of their system. So we've listened to a lot of the customer feedback when we first introduced the 1070 and 1080 with our yellow stripe. A lot of the feedback was it clashes with their colors of their system. Right. So we took that and we changed it for the 1080 Ti. So now it's all color neutral with our uh, gunmetal gray. So it's going to coordinate with uh, hardware a lot better? Much better in any, any systems. Okay. And uh, of course the next question is we've got these two small form factor 1080 Ti's. These are I believe the world's first in terms of that small form factor in the, you know, the, the flagship that NVIDIA offers. Uh, can you tell us a bit about these? Ah, you have a very sharp eye. So it's not only is it the world's first mini graphics card, it's also only the, the only mini 1080 Ti graphics card. So if you wanted to build the most powerful, most compact gaming system you, you would want to build, you will have to get one of these guys here. So we, for the first time, we introduced two models of the 1080 Ti Minis. One is air-cooled here. So this guy is very similar to the 1080 Mini. You got your 90 millimeter fan that focuses on the static pressure. Keep that air cool down on the component side, whereas the bigger 100 millimeter fan is more focused on drawing in the maximum airflow itself as well. And if you notice on the back side, you got that very nice metal back plate. It's also color neutral as well. And the other one, that we also wanted to show off is our 1080 Ti Arctic Storm Mini. It's also the first and the smallest water block graphics card out of the box. And yeah, obviously we've got the bigger version here. Uh, that's the full size 1080 Ti. What are the differences between these two cards? You know, if someone was to pick up the bigger one, uh, what are they going to get over the smaller one? You know, just uh, explain what the differences are. Sure. So there's going to be a few differences. The bigger brother is going to have 16 plus 2 power phases and it's also going to support RGB color lighting. So you have these LED modules right behind this metal plate and it's going to shine across the entire board itself. Whereas on the Mini, the board was too compact so it, it, didn't, it couldn't allow us to install the RGB module on there. So it's only going to be single lit in white color as well. So we could have picked yellow, we could have picked blue, but white is the more color neutral so it'll go with any existing systems as well. This card will only have 8 plus 2 power phases. So those are the two main differences. Performance wise, temperature wise, you're going to expect anywhere between the 40s to 50s. And it really depends on your hard liquid cooling equipment that you're going to have installed in your system. Okay. Uh, clock speeds, are they the same clock speeds, both of them? Same clock speeds as well. Okay. And uh, just going back to the, uh, the 1080 Ti Mini, um, you know, the small form factor, do we know that what the length are on those cards? Yeah, definitely. It's the same length as our 1080 Mini. It's only going to be about 211 millimeters or 8.3 inches. That's good, very good. Okay, and obviously we always come back to price and availability. I believe you haven't got the prices for these yet, but uh, when can people expect to pick them up? You can expect to pick them up by Q3, so very soon. Very soon then, folks. That's the latest on those small form factor 1080 Ti's, which were announced just a few days ago.